Meantime, candidates who participated in Wednesday's Republican presidential debate touted their personal records and went after the Biden administration. Of course, they also attacked each other. That's part of it. Paul Spay checks some of their claims for PolitiFact. Did Mike Pence rebuild the military? And is the Department of Justice tracking parents who attend school board meetings? What exactly did Ron DeSantis do in Florida's grade schools? Well, let's address some of the claims from Wednesday night's presidential debate, starting with this one. Pence said the Trump administration rebuilt our military in just four short years. Now, foreign policy experts said the administration made progress on improving the military's readiness, but that the military's weapons and infrastructure did not change much by 2020, and we rated a similar claim? Mostly false. What about this next one? DeSantis said he eliminated critical race theory from Florida's grade schools. PolitiFact found a few examples of education officials objecting to content in school classrooms here and there, but they found no evidence that CRT was ever a staple of any grade school curriculum. We rated a similar claim. Mostly false again. Now, how about this last one? South Carolina Senator Tim Scott said the DOJ is labeling parents who show up at school board meetings as domestic terrorists. We rated this false a while ago. The rumor started after Attorney General Merrick Garland directed the FBI to investigate threats of violence against school board members across the country. And some parents actually sued over this, and their case was heard by a Trump-appointed judge who said the DOJ never actually labeled anyone a domestic terrorist who just attends these meetings. So there's a lot more where these came from. Read our full list of fact checks from Wednesday night's debate at WRL.com.